Hi guys, my name is Muhammad Shehzad and today we are going to make another exciting exercise regarding our scorty onion and uh, today we will see how uh, scorty onion reacts when there is a brute force attack detection in the network so let's see uh, we will start our lab so before going to start this lab if you are new on my channel kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos so thank you okay let's go and start as you know we have uh, our setup we made it in our uh, virtual box our windows 7 is running kali and uh, security onion is running so first let's see on my windows 7 i have already started i have installed one uh, sql server here if we go sql so i have installed uh, express just a sql express here see my sql is running here See the service is running SQL Express I have installed and let's see we will attack on this uh, SQL server um, MS SQL and let's see how our scorty onion is detecting the thing so if I would like to say uh, please do not try this uh, tricks and tips on the live network illegal uh, for uh, and for illegal activities do not use it for military and government offices uh, even on in your office premises you must use your own practice lab and this video is only for penetration testings and uh, only for educational purposes so okay thank you let's go as we know we have a ms sql running in our windows 7 and uh, here is our kali in in my kali i have uh, made uh, one two files with one files I made a dummy for passwords like I'm gonna try all these passwords which I made like uh, dummy you can find a lot of uh, you know password files even 10 million password file on the internet git github you can for practice use I just put it like 200 or maybe 149 something uh, this password I typed it so I made txt uh, password file and uh, secondly I made a user file here so I know that the SQL by default is uh, SA and then administrator and admin and my name I put it there because I installed and I'm gonna check uh, if it is matching uh, this is the thing uh, I was want to show you first okay and secondly we will go and we'll check our if there is a um, SQL is running and which board we can do and map then the target we can give like uh, this one and it will attempt to check if the 1433 port is open so we can check here uh, a little it will tell us if the, that port is open so we'll go back during its scanning see it in the, in this scan we got a one result that 14 is open 1433 tcp is open this is for msql so if we see on our uh, swill, I will go on my scorty onion and here we will go in swill is connected and uh, if we come here and we saw some alerts there is uh, which like uh, somebody scanned our things here but these are normal port scanning uh, that's why it's uh, like high not critical you can say medium so they scan a 339 MySQL and Postgres uh, 5432 and uh, these uh, MS SQL port 1433 scanned and these are the regarding the scannings okay let's do a brute force using Hydra on uh, this com uh, with uh, this lab so I will go on Kali and I will just type Hydra wizard okay so we can do a wizard okay Hydra wizard enter here he's it's asking okay uh, what service you want to uh, attack sql ms sql so ms sql i will go hit enter and then it's asking uh, okay give us the target like his ip address is this okay and then we will click okay now it's asking which user you want to are you give a file or user we will give a file user this directory user.txt so it's user.txt and he's asking a uh, password file you want to give our password we made a one password file i'll say okay password.txt 
safety. He's asking if you want to test for password as as a login. Yes, we can do as like yes. Okay, and hit enter. And after that, it's saying okay, which default port you would like to attach? One four three three. As we know that this is the open for MS SQL. This port is open. Definitely, we'll try to connect on this one. So we'll go one four three three. I'll do enter. And it's asking if you want to add module option enter the here or leave it empty. We don't have, we don't want to enter the module yet. So I will go ahead enter. And here is asking, are you sure you want to run this? Uh, and uh, here is the one warning. Please uh, note, do not use military or services or file illegal purposes. So this is only for uh, you know uh, educational purpose purposes. So before doing this lab and test, make sure you have disconnect your all. Uh, attempt will not go into the so I, I will uh, into the network so I will uh, choose Y and I will hit enter so see after hitting enter uh, it will start and it's saying 560 login is gonna try and this is the target and uh, return and this one it's completed already so let's go and check on our Uh, the latest one we have received that uh, SQL assay logins fail and see 112 tries here 112 and count is very high so it's showing that this is the see uh, attempt on this time and this is the source IP and the port is this and uh, GP SQL, SQL assay login failed and if you go down and it's saying uh, see uh, GPL SQL SA brute force failed login attempts. So see the see uh, our Scotty Onion as well how it's catching these things. So see our all uh, related to this brute force for so we can easily catch this one. So if I go on my uh, squirt we can see there also into the squirt. I just made a small file by the way you can do more longer so it will keep running attacking so on the other end you can see the account is, uh, is uh, increasing okay. here we go this is our brute force and see the assay login fails if I if I turn off the grouping See, it's saying the login failed. Uh, this is the ID, and this is the a full uh, message P cap sensor message fingerprints. This and see it's raw. And if you see more details, stamps between this time to this time and this port. Even login JSON files, and if we go back here. Uh, on to this one if we want to go on this one a brute force attempt you want to see you can click here I want to see the login failure so I will click on here so it will we will open into the Kibana and see what is there in the Kibana Okay, here is the dashboard and we'll see the alerts. Here we go. I will come down and see it's totally same. It's uh, SA login failed and SA brute force failed attempt. See, suspicious other one is our scanning things. So you can find easily here is a brute force attack. So if we go down more to read the message. Come down, come down. Here we go. This is the messages. See, SA login failed. Same SA login failed. 
and this is the full message sc login failed user privileges priority one and this one full detail so you can explore this one and uh, it's related to brute force attack by going to first one see log stack message and if we come down more the other messages you can see here let's say failed okay these are the essay failed so let's go back and put on the on the brute force one so if we see here is the brute force and we'll check and if you want to check from here on the victim side so you can go into the cabana so in the victim size and the brute force we are checking see So same you will come on there and you can find the same messages here as well so it's all related to our essay love and failed unsuccess user privileges gain see so again full message so these are the total uh, things uh, if you go related to the uh, brute force attack so we can find out in here and also if you want to see in swill uh, we can find out here the brute force attack happened on this time and uh, it will tell you on which user and where and we saw that its attempt happened on our sequel and uh, it's clearly our swill is detecting that brute force uh, failed attack attempt happened and um, this time and this many time it's uh, you try it one one two time so hopefully you like my video and you got uh, good knowledge to being a cybersecurity professional to do testing on this one will on the security onion and if you have liked my video kindly you know, click like button and don't, do not forget to subscribe again so take care bye bye until the next video